<laughs> hey kids, it's time for another Frequently Asked Question! What is up all you outdoor studs? I tell you what, this has to be one of the most requested videos I've ever had on the channel. I get it probably once or twice every single stream and uh, and I has simply haven't made an FAQ about it just because I knew the enormity of the video. I knew how many things I would have to go over and I've honestly just been putting it on the side but I'm finally getting to it. Have I hunted in real life? And that's not usually the question I get. The, the question I usually get is, do you hunt in real life? And really, uh, the answer is no. The question that I would like you to ask is, have you hunted in real life? And that's when I would say, yes, I have. I used to hunt all the time when I was younger, um, and I simply just kind of faded out of it. And, uh, and that's what we're going to go over today. Basically, a bazillion photos. And uh, just before we get into it, I do want to give a warning out to all of you. I know that there are plenty of people who, uh, who don't enjoy seeing dead animals and uh, in the sort, you know, blood and gore. Um, I'm sure YouTube has some things against it as well. And so just to avoid it, if you don't want to see any of that, um, you know, feel free to click out of the video right now um, because we will be getting into that kind of stuff and I just don't, I, I just want you to be forewarned before we get into any of it. Anywho, um, let's get into it. So talking about hunting, um, I grew up in Kansas. A lot of you know that I, I'm from, uh, I basically grew up in the middle of Kansas and uh, we have eastern turkeys on one side and uh, Rio Grande on the other. We have white-tailed deer, um, lots of fishing and uh, it's just, it's just a great place to live. Honestly, I love living in Kansas. I have a ton of pride for living in Kansas and uh, yeah so we're gonna go through some hunting photos everyone and just to save everyone another headache another little to do here um, I know that there's gonna be a ton of bragging in the comments section I've got this I've got this big of fish I've got this big of deer you know what save yourself the comment go into the BZ hub discord we have a trophy animal section feel free to post your fish post your animals there anytime you want to um, that's that's where you can go show off some photos you know put some pictures behind those words the words don't mean anything in the comment section we need pictures for proof you know what I'm talking about all right that's my last little warning let's get into the hunting photos so I tried to put these in order of kind of like when they happened basically so um, you know we're gonna go back to cringeworthy photos of me really young and uh, work our way up to present day kind of you know present day minus a few years because I really haven't done anything in the past few years um, but anyway starting out first a whitetail I ever shot in the state of Kansas was a trophy whitetail for the state of Kansas if you look up your state you should see scores for uh, different you know birds fish whatever it may be you can get a trophy certificate from your state um, harvesting one of these animals so um, here we go trophy whitetail in the state of Kansas 12 points I actually have the rack right here so we can see it in the flesh um, this is my trophy whitetail rack right here uh, pretty big pretty big guy um, but yeah he's he's he was a decent decent fella he just didn't have very much height he certainly had the the width and he had the points 12 point buck um, but you know just just didn't have the height and uh, if he would have had the height we might have mounted him but instead we put him on this plaque and he looks great you probably can't see right there maybe if we zoom in there 146 Boone and Crockett back in 2007 that means I was in seventh grade everyone uh, I was one of those lucky kids who grew up the years of the 2000s went with the grade I was in in school so 2007 seventh grade 2008 eighth grade and so on and uh, I'm not sure if I remember most of these but let's let's continue let's continue um, now looking at the second one this was kind of my first turkey we actually started turkey hunting um, kind of later on my dad kind of just like picked it up all of a sudden he was like hey this year we should go turkey hunting and we were all like we don't know anything about turkey hunting, but okay let's go let's go dad um, so we all went out there and uh, yeah over time we just became big turkey hunters and um, yeah love it so you know great for turkeys I wasn't like ecstatic like I, I wasn't like die hard get them in the hunter call the water or anything like that but I do love turkey hunting I think it's really fun um, and, and I love turkeys I think they're amazing animals going into number three here you can see I have a bunch of rabbits and squirrels my dad and I used to go out um, hunting in the winter time lots of rabbits and squirrels there with the 22 one of my favorite things to do hunt those rabbits and squirrels in the state of Kansas um, a lot of fun there now going into here this is kind of a unique story 
story here. Um, this is my senior year of high school, and uh, my dad was away on a business trip, and I had I had uh, before he left the day before I I was talking to him about hey I'm gonna be home you know this is um, my senior year basically like they're a week before you graduate you don't you're not at school but you haven't graduated yet and I was like before you go on your business trip can you leave a shotgun out of the gun closet so that I can go uh, turkey hunting if I want to and he was like okay so I woke up in the morning he had his shotgun laying there I was like I've never used this shotgun in my life but okay let's do it um, and then <laughs> went out there I remember going out into a field I'll, maybe I can pull up a satellite view I remember going out into a field and uh, g walking around the edge of this field and uh, I saw a turkey and I sat down and waited and uh, being me and if you watch my streams with turkeys you absolutely know this is what happens I got bored waiting for this turkey I walked down to the field and there it was just like 10 yards away just taking its time moseying down the, the tree line and I just got bored and, and then it kind of moseyed off into the forest and I never saw it again felt like a failure started walking back to the farmhouse and uh, I saw this big black dot in the field uh, on another field and I was like oh okay the wind started picking up there and I really think the wind was key because uh, I you know this turkey just couldn't hear me coming um, I like sprinted into the forest and then I uh, kind of slowed my way down as I got near it I did a few calls on a uh, one of those little uh, little dishes I can't remember what it's called at the moment I'm just you know <laughs> um, did a few calls and then I thought you know what I don't want to screw with this turkey anymore he was starting to act all crazy he was kind of sprinting back and forth in the middle of the field I don't know what his deal was actually um, and then all of a sudden he just takes off at a dead sprint towards me and uh that was that was pretty much it for him he uh that was i mean it was just it was a dead sprint right to me and uh popped him and that was it trophy turkey rio grand turkey i should say in the state of kansas it's a beautiful turkey i mean the rio grands are beautiful um almost like the merriams but not as bright um, just a really really nice turkey. So those those are my two trophy animals in the state of Kansas the trophy whitetail and the trophy turkey um, That's gonna be that's gonna be that right before I went off to uh, to college that um, That winter I suppose or you know fall winter time um, I went out with a friend of mine at his house um, his land or whatnot and we actually found this whitetail buck so this was another whitetail buck, and this was as close to a mercy killing as you could get. This guy looks like he was wounded um, from a coyote or something on his back. I mean, he was missing missing like a chunk of flesh out of one of his legs, and uh, he was limping and just kind of crawling towards it, and, and we got him um, there. I mean, he's a decent buck, too. I have the rack right here. I don't have it on a nice plaque or anything, but he still hangs on my wall. So he's he's got some, some decent height there, and... Uh, would have been a 10 point but with the broken tines on either side <laughs> he, uh, he ends up being an eight point there i realize other people kind of score them differently some people don't even count these middle ones some people count them four by four or five by five um you know i've always grown up just adding everything together so this would be a 10 point or an eight point um and we can see the difference between this one and one on the plaque so a little bit of difference there I can't get them both in the frame. <laughs> so decent Kansas whitetails right there. Definitely proud of them, and you know, um, always have them up on the wall because I would, you know, I shot it, so I, you know, need to be able to display it up on the wall because it is, you know, it's important. So anyway, that would be pretty much uh, my last whitetail buck I shot. Um, basically, uh, after that, I kind of just only shot whitetail uh, does, and that's just kind of how it worked out. I mean, I just didn't see any bucks that I felt like shooting, basically. Um, here we go, back into turkey hunting. Shot three turkeys here. Um, this would have been once I got into college, because I do remember wearing my, uh, I was on a collegiate shooting team, so I, I had uh, shooting muffs on. I'm not sure if I'm holding them in the picture or not, but... Um, doesn't look like it, but I was wearing them and it was so interesting to be wearing them while turkey hunting But um, yeah, so I got these three turkeys there and then uh, Going in here shaved my head of course because when you're in an ROTC you do weird things shaved my head there <laughs> I was bald for a while, but you can see my hair has grown back a little bit got a few more squirrels there. That's fun 
Um, and then looks like we got some more turkeys here. This would have been the next next year, I would have think. Would have, well, I would think probably the next spring got these uh, got these turkeys. Um, you realize I'm in I'm in school now, so I have to drive home to uh, do any of this sort of stuff. So two more Rio Grande look, look like Jakes to me. Um, so that's pretty cool there. So going into the fall now, this would have been after I got out of NROTC. I would have lost a chance at a scholarship that uh, summer into the fall semester. So uh, I got out of NROTC, and you can see me here with my uh, my dog Molly. That's uh, she's still at my parents' house, but that's my dog Molly. Um, she's a boxer lab mix, and she's a she's a handful of energy. Loves playing fetch. Um, not so much hunting dog. She just ran away from everyone the entire time. But she <laughs> she ran away from the sound of gunshots basically but she loved to stay by you and she loved that she was outside running so it was always fun um going into the fall now we got some more squirrels there and then of course these were my last white-tailed deer that i shot two does there and i remember that i had a picture of me with a great big old beard sitting in the back um so that would have been that that winter so anyway that pretty much covers all of my hunting photos that i felt like showing off i have some other ones but i was just like man they're not really all that worth it showing um, to you and it's just gonna make the video that much longer so uh, now we're gonna go into the fishing photos here we've got quite a few fishing photos going back into high school again um, you got me with this uh, this little bass here sitting on a little uh, John boat out on a country pond um, and then of course I went out with a friend of mine uh, at the time who who was really into fishing and we uh, got to fish these two little uh, two little spots of water out near some oh, some really nice houses so they ended up being some great fish there got some bluegill caught a ton of bass um, and there's me standing on the side there with all that bass <laughs> we got so many bass that day it was crazy um, and then and then my senior year we actually went down to Florida and we were fishing um, you can see Zach in the background there <laughs> funny guy we caught a bunch of sharks uh, I'm trying to remember other fish that we caught I think my dad might have caught a flounder maybe it could have been my mom either too but anyway good time good time there caught some bull sharks caught some reef sharks i want to say or black tip maybe um also caught a few different types of jacks i think um good time good time out on the open water that's for sure now this is uh, back into the nrotc there, days there you can see i have my my camo hat on i don't know i just love wearing that camo hat and i got my uh it looks like my oakley flak jackets on um caught a nice size drum there you can see i put my hand on it afterwards it was it was a good size drum a little gasper goo um uh, pretty nice little guy there and uh, here's me with a carp got a nice size carp there out of the river and big old fat lips on this guy um, and then I have a little looks like a little uh, white bass or something like that out on uh, one of the reservoirs out in Kansas this would have been near my fiance's like hometown so pretty cool pretty cool there nice little white bass and then here we go into the channel cats back fishing on the rivers there god i look so young I look so young in these photos <laughs> we got another little channel cat there which is nice that would have been back when i was fishing with uh, my fiance a lot back in her hometown we would drive back to her hometown and fish all the time um so here we go you got mustache bow going on here and uh, that would have been me out at the pond with the little stringer full of channel cats there <laughs> <laughs> it is so funny looking back at these photos. They're hilarious. Um, after NROTC, this would have been me fishing out with my fiance again. Caught a bunch of channel cat out at her hometown. So that is fun there. Got the tank top on, evidently. <laughs> And uh, yeah, these were the kind of the last photos I have of fishing on here. I'm kind of going through my Facebook library of my personal Facebook page. Um, so these are kind of my fishing and, and hunting photos. So caught a bunch of channel cats there. And then there's me and Zach catching those channel cats. Um, pretty good time. Had a pretty good time there. Um, and, you know, that's pretty much all I, I was wanting to show. I guess I do have some photos of Zachary uh, hunting. I have him out here as a young blood uh, I got his turkeys there oh he looks so happy in that photo <laughs> and then he's got his first buck he ever shot so there's young Zachary and then of course uh, the other photos in the fishing section and that's gonna pretty much cover the hunting and fishing um, just of my past 
hunting and fishing. Um, I know this video is basically uh, there so that if anyone ever asks, do you hunt fish for real life, um, I can just direct them to this video and they can kind of see what all you've done. And uh, like I said, if you want to show off some of the stuff you've done, feel free to sign, go to the BZ Hub Discord. You can see a link in the description and then you can go to the trophy uh, fish and, uh, and, and, and animals section and post pictures of your uh, trophy fish and animals or whatever you're up to. That's fine by me. Um, I will say that the last thing I wanted to talk about was the, I guess, the evolution of become, being a hunter and then kind of moving into photography there. Uh, I know that hunting is kind of one of those things. It, everyone wants to scream about their sides and everything like that. And I'm, you know, I'm not going to get into that at all. Um, but basically I wanted to stress the, uh, the importance as an outdoors person, just, just loving the outdoors, how, how you should probably get into photography. Photography is one of the greatest things ever. And there's really, uh, there's no excuse. If you're buying a $500 gun, there's no reason you can't go buy a $500 camera and take photos. And I just, wanted to kind of show off um, some of the things here because it really is it's it's a good time and there's no excuse not to do it because once you have the camera I mean it's basically free at that point you're just traveling around and if you see animals you're taking photos of them this was me way back in high school I remember uh, I we climbed up this was in the Rocky Mountains and we were hiking up in the mountains and we saw these bighorn uh, a ways away and I probably if you watch my bighorn Silver Ridge Peaks video you probably saw these photos as well but uh, yeah, just being out there in the outdoors, um, you know, have my camera to take photos of the mountains and stuff like that. And then to see these guys up here just staring me down like, what are you doing up here? Uh, that was amazing. It was amazing to find these guys. I'm so happy I was able to get photos, even with the crummy little camera I had at the time. Um, so cool to look back on these photos. Um, so there, there's my bighorn sheep. Looking at, if you saw my turkey hunting video, um, I guess my, my photo hunter video of me finding turkeys, I, sh I should phrase maybe, um, you saw me taking videos of those turkeys. If not, feel free to uh, go over there and click on uh, whatever it may be to uh, click on that video because it's an interesting video. It's long, but you know it shows me hunting some turkeys. I'm using my skills I've used my entire life and then shooting video for YouTube and shooting, shooting photos. Um, and so I thought it was a really good time but I did have some awesome photos of these turkeys um, even though this is just a little Jake he still was a uh, he was still out there in the sun and gave me some great opportunities for some photos destroyed both of my decoys that was a great time usually you shoot them before they break the decoys but uh yeah <laughs> didn't happen and I got some great close-up photos of these turkeys you can just see all the detail on their faces it's just all there. That is so cool. So cool to be that close up to those turkeys and just be able to see all that detail of them uh, living their lives the way they are. And just, um, yeah, to be that close to nature is fantastic. Not only that, but like, you know, say, you know, it's one thing to be in Kansas, for for instance, you know, when I was taking these photos of these bison. And you see, I have this big, uh, nice vertical shot of this bison here with the horn there. Big old bull bison out in a pasture. And I just thought that was amazing have these two grazing right here these are two photos that I have in my house um, just amazing photos and then and then you know you're driving out and you notice that you know someone has this big piebald bison in their pasture and it's like you can't shoot it if you're a hunter you can't you can't shoot this thing like this thing's amazing um, but you can take photos of it so it's like no one will ever have this thing on their wall. Maybe the guy who owns it, you know, after a while, a while or something after it dies off. But I have a photo of it. I have it on my wall. I can show it off to everyone. I, I found this guy and I took photos of it. And that's and that's honestly the case wherever you go. Say when we went to Africa and, uh, you know, I'm not going to be shooting the animals on a safari and everything, but I, I feel like I could have. I mean, I saw this Cape Buffalo out in the mud and if I would have had a big rifle, could have easily shot it but I took a shot with my camera and I have the, f the photo of the Cape Buffalo. Here's a nice bush buck. These bush buck are beautiful. And if you ever hear me talk about another African map, I would like, I always bring up Zambia cause I would love this lush green um, environment of an African map. And then we have the bush buck, we have the Cape Buffalo. Um, we could have a greater kudu here. I have a hippo here um, to see these hippos out here on the water was amazing. Um, another one of the Cape Buffalo. I love how the rain's coming down. I've just captured that rain falling.
thought that was so cool. I have the the uh, water buck here standing, checking us out as we're driving by. He had a little target on his butt. <laughs> Love these. They're just amazing. Uh, have a little warthog here. This one's a little grainy, but my God, whenever we saw a decent sized water, like a warthog, they were out in, in like, you know, 10 seconds, like they would see you in the truck and then they would like, be like, Nope, I'm out of here. And they would run. And it's so funny because they must be so uncoordinated or something that all the other animals would run at the same time. They would be like, Nope, I'm out. I'm out. This warthog is running. Who knows what he's going to run into? I'm out too. whatever this warthog is running from. I'm not going to let him run into me and I must be needing to get out of here too. If this guy's running away. So that was so funny about warthogs. Um, here's a beautiful Impala. The Impalas are, are amazing. I would love to see Impalas added to the Hunter Call of the Wild. And then we have the Leopard. You know, we have Pumas and Mountain Lions in the Hunter Call of the Wild. But I would love to see a Leopard in there. I would never shoot one of these things in real life. They are just so amazing. So many great stories of Leopards and uh, just amazing animals. Um, you know, how they uh, just are so territorial. And, you know, uh, there were stories about darn hyenas and hyenas fighting them for for food and how uh you know this this one uh big female leopard was so tired of the hyenas getting their their food that she actually hunted the uh the female that was leading the pack of the hyenas and killed her and then took her up in the tree and ate it in front of all the hyenas and the hyenas stopped taking food from her thought that was the craziest story i was like wow leopards are B.A. Maine. Uh, so cool. Here we got a giraffe. This was on our way back to camp. And and the real idea here is like these are wild animals, guys. Obviously, this isn't a, you know, a, a state park, a, a, you know, a national park. Um, so they're a little more tame than they would be. But my God, I mean, this giraffe wasn't in a national park. I mean, we, we just we just saw that on the way back to camp. It was just standing there eating Tree, like the tree branches <laughs> the leaves and whatnot uh so cool more of the impalas so awesome love seeing these animals and then of course the zebra out in the road there zebra amazing just amazing and then of course you see these baby elephants running around and you know to have these photos um up up on my walls you know they're 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 honestly like trophies on their own they're they're so cool um to have these animals and you know it's just like you know you to have that much room for for trophies in your house you know could you picture it um you'd have to have a giant it'd be like a gymnasium but uh these photos you know i can i can put up a ton of photos up on the walls and, and i really enjoy it so if you're an outdoors person if you love the outdoors and you can't always carry around a rifle or a fish for something um i feel like photography is a great option get into photography take photos you go into national parks be a hunter you know hunt those uh those bears hunt those elk the moose of those state parks and everything like that and uh get those photos because to me that's that that's hunting on its own i mean you're not you're not shooting something but it still takes some skill to get up to those animals and of course it's easy to just lay down on your belly and uh wait for the animal to come by and then pop up and shoot it but for a photographer you need to have that lens out in the open the entire time uh, to get those photos get the video um it's very difficult it really is so um yeah that's pretty much it everyone um you know i really just i i haven't hunted in a long time i moved to college and uh you know i i was away at college for a long time and i never really got back into hunting honestly i just kind of lost interest uh, moved from my hometown uh, three hours away and just like I just you know that's just a trek it, it turns into a weekend gig and I just you know honestly just don't have any interest anymore um, but yeah that's just another chapter in my life not saying I'll never get back into it but it's just not my thing right now I really enjoy fishing though and I hope to see more fishing videos or try to make fishing videos I'd love to give it a shot um, and get out there and do some stuff especially with uh, me going out to Florida with my brother and my dad and we're gonna try to catch some big fish and I'm hoping that we get pretty lucky so anyway look forward to that if anything get some photos and maybe some video clips I'm hoping I can piece together some videos though would be really cool so anyway i hope you uh enjoy this little faq i'm assuming this is going to be a super long video um but i hope you learned something about me and answers your question uh about if i hunted in real life and all that um yeah 
And I can't wait to see your photos in the BZ Hub Discord. Links down below. Make sure you do that. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, yeah. As always, everyone, keep gaming. Never stop.